What's up, everybody? I'm Preposterous Miss Bradley, and welcome back to another March is On Us. The second to last March is On Us, actually. I'm annoyed right now. I was happy a few minutes ago, but I just recorded this whole voiceover thing, and I took my whole setup down, and <laughs> I played it back, and I realized it wasn't on this microphone that I've been yelling into for the last 15 minutes. It was my computer's onboard mic and unsalvageable. Today I drew Wirt from Over the Garden Wall. And if you guys haven't seen that one, that is such a fantastic show. Go find it and watch it. The whole series is only about an hour and a half. I don't know why I connected so hard with it. Like it was another one that came up and it was like really weird and bizarre, but I ended up really loving it. I wonder what that says about me, that I'm weird and bizarre. That's a given though. But today I was looking around and I was like, I don't know what I want to draw because all of the things left on my list, apparently I don't want to draw today. I just wasn't feeling inspiration. And then I looked around the room and I saw a print on my wall by, I'm pretty sure uh, her Tumblr is Dilly Dally Doodle. If I remember, I will link her Tumblr down below. And it's a beautiful print she did of Wirt and Greg and the beast from over the garden wall. And I saw that and immediately, yes, I am doing that. That will be my final illustration for March's Honest. <laughs> and I'm really glad I did because I guess he was just simple enough that I was able to just work through it really quickly. And I actually feel like, or maybe it's because I actually did get my speed up. I feel like I actually, this month did meet my goal of getting my speed up. I mentioned before that this will be the final illustration for March is Honest. Tomorrow, I will be still putting out a video and it's still gonna have art in it, but it's gonna be another glow up video. I have several different pieces through March is Honest that I really wanna go back and finish. Like there's Coraline, there's Koya, there's Vanellope. I already started finishing my Mega Peach Pearl, but I wanna showcase that a little bit. So I will do the rest of the finishing up uh, in this video. I'm gonna start recording part of it today because I'm gonna be doing, I think there was at least six pieces that I wanted to finish. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'll be doing all six. I don't know if I'll be doing more, but I'm definitely, I'm planning on doing at least four. <laughs> but getting back to Over the Garden Wall, this is such, I mentioned that it's a really cool show. I'm not even sure I entirely understand it, but it's kind of like a full metaphor, not a full metaphor, but it's a, like a metaphor for death in a lot of ways. And you don't get that in a lot of children's media, not so blatantly anyway. You do get a lot of metaphors and you do get a lot of dark stuff in children's media. And like this, I wouldn't even call, I don't know, I have a hard time calling most cartoons children's media because animation isn't inherently for children. It started out that animation was for everybody. I'm not sure where the switch was. I think it was sometime in the 60s that uh, animation became more of a children's thing. Maybe it was in the 50s. Like a lot of the early, like rubber hose animation especially, had more adult themes and they were made for adults. And I have a hard time saying that a lot of cartoons are made for children because I feel like a lot of cartoons today are made not for the children, but for the creators. They also fit as a thing for the children, but they're more something that the animators wanted to see done. And so it's more, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, <laughs> getting off on a tangent. But this is exactly what I wanna do with my life. I'm an animator. I want to have my own TV series. And I was blessed this uh, year for Christmas. Um, I think it was my dad. I don't remember which. One of my parents got me the full like giant tome of a book, the art book for Over the Garden Wall. And I'm not a very good reader. I have several reading disabilities, but I've uh, slowly been reading through it. I have not finished. It's huge, but I was really inspired by it to this year. I really want to make a pitch Bible for one of my shows. I have at least two shows in mind, kind of three that I really want to pitch, that I really want to put out there and make into full animated series. Um, one of them is The Adventures of Pagey and Pavel. But anyway, my whole point is that Over the Garden Wall has been a really big inspiration for me. 
Um, I think I also connected to it because Wirt is voiced by one of my favorite actors, Elijah Wood. This would be actually the second Elijah Wood character that I've drawn this month for March is Honest, the other one being Nine. Actually, I think it would be really cool. He uh, reminds me a little bit of Pavel. <laughs> Um, I don't think I could actually get him to uh, play Pavel for me, but you know, if you're interested, hit me up. <laughs> Not that you're watching this. <laughs> I don't know. I've still got a whole long way to go before I even get into the voice acting aspect of this show. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. The people who have been here every single day, like, oh my gosh. Um, let me, I, I think I wrote down your names. Um, so I'm really sorry if I butcher these, but uh, Duke, is it Duke X Me on YouTube? You're amazing. Oh my gosh, I've loved watching your, um, all of your cooking videos. I've learned a lot from watching them. Like I've learned that I know nothing about cooking. So that's cool. So Duke, sorry if I butchered your name. And then um, I may have also written this one down wrong. Reheat Entertainment or Red Heat? I apologize for butchering both of your names. Your drawings too have um, been really good. It's been really fun to saw see him draw memes and cartoon characters and everything and see his progress through the month. Uh, but both of you especially, thank you for like commenting and being there on every single video, I think. Um, also shout out and thank you to everybody else who has commented or liked or even just viewed my videos. Thank you for giving me your time. I don't really know what my schedule is going to be like after this video, but I will make a consistent schedule of at least two videos a month, minimum. I'm hoping to do, I really want to do two videos a week, but um, that might not be, I don't know. I don't have anything going on in my life. I've been able to do every single day so far, so why not be able to put two out? Um, we'll see what the schedule is like as life happens. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here. Stay safe, wash your hands, and I will see you tomorrow. Memento mori, unis honest.